Hello, beautiful stars. Courtney Harris, Stars of the Morning Light. This is the May 2024 Zodiac Akashic Messages. Uh, this is further out into the month, and I apologize for that. I actually had difficulty recording the collective message, so when that's late, this is also late. These do go out to my patrons first, uh, so... It's good readings for everybody this month. I mean, it's it's not anything too serious, so that's good. Uh, the collective message, though, is out. Please, please, please listen to that. So I'm going to get right into it, folks. This is the May 2024 Zodiac Akashic Messages. Do know I there is no order to who comes out first. There is no order to it. I will say usually the one at the end has they have the most to say about, um, but it's a lovely, well, pretty good readings. So, all right, folks, let's go. Scorpio. Beloved Scorpio, play not with your mouth. Play not with your intentions. Eyes are on you. Play only your song. I'll read it again. Beloved Scorpio, play not with your mouth. Play not with your intentions. Eyes are on you. Play only your song. Capricorn. Oh, beloved Capricorn, you put so much pressure on yourself. May 2024 will be too much people-pleasing or actually, sorry, those were my words. Pleasing others <laughs> is theirs. That by July, you will be unwell. Please self first. Let me read that again. And my dog is self-soothing right now. So take a note from my dog, Capricorn. Oh, beloved Capricorn, you put so much pressure on yourself. May 2024 will be too much pleasing others that by July you will be unwell. Please self first, which means please Capricorn through May, through June, take time for yourself. I know these are months that usually do have a lot going on, Please, please take care of yourself or you will be run down and exhausted by July. And that doesn't make a good 4th of July, now does it here in the States? I mean, please take care of yourself. Pisces. Beloved Pisces, play, play, play. People miss your smile. You have been drifting away from your beliefs. Play the guitar for relief. Clearly, Pisces, that guitar part is for someone <laughs> they definitely have in mind here. <laughs> um, so if you don't play the guitar, that's not the point, but that was for definitely someone. So, Pisces, I'm going to read it again without the play the guitar for relief part. Or maybe you should start learning how to play guitar and get some relief. That would be nice. Beloved Pisces, play, play, play. People miss your smile. You have been drifting away from your beliefs. Play the guitar for some relief. <laughs> there you go. Libra. <laughs> Libra, all they got is dance, 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 Libra. <laughs> That's all they got is dance, 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 Libra. Uh, Libra, clearly they just want you to have a lot of fun. Go out and dance, release, dance it out. Oh, love me some Libras. You guys are great. Go dance. Taurus. Beloved Taurus, my, my, your lists are impressive. Chances are none of it will be as you see it. That's it. So Taurus, it is your season. 
And I'm sure you are planning all over the place, all sorts of stuff. You're organizing. You're, we love you, Taurus, for who you are, right? For how you, how organized you are, right? Um, but they are just reminding you that whatever your itineraries are, whatever your lists are, whatever you got going on, it most likely is not going to go as you have planned and that's okay so i'm going to read that again beloved taurus my 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 your lists are impressive chances are none of it will be as you see it gemini beloved gemini people and you need a break water river boat sand, peace, and quiet to clear your head. So clearly, Gemini, um, it says, beloved Gemini, people and you need a break. So Gemini, maybe you've been a little bit too much, just a little bit too much. We love you for all your energy and all your words. Maybe you've been a little bit too much, which is okay, but you and those around you need a break. So maybe it's also like Gemini, go off by yourself. But they are very, they very much are saying, you know, get to some water. Because they just started listing the different water, river, boat, sand, peace and quiet to clear your head. So for me, I'd say go fishing, Gemini. Go fishing. Get, just take some time to yourself. Quiet. Do some fishing. You know, right? Even if you don't fish, there's a whole symbolism to that. Just be in the water, on the sand, quiet to yourself. Because everybody needs a break. And you definitely need to clear your head. Okay? I'm going to read it again. Gemini, beloved Gemini, people and you need a break. Water, river, boat, sand, peace and quiet to clear your head. Aquarius. Aquarius, it is now time for your word. You spend too much time talking without thinking. And now you must think before you speak. Your thoughts are needed, but must be clear and genuine. It's pretty straightforward for you guys. Um, okay, Aquarius, I'm going to read that again. Aquarius, it is now time for your word. To spend too much time talking without, oh, sorry, you spent too much time talking without thinking. And now you must think before you speak. Your thoughts are needed, but must be clear and genuine. Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, beloved Sagittarius, we see your progress. Yeah, good job. Oh, beloved Sagittarius, we see your progress. Let go more of the people pleasing. Fire is not for the people. It is for the earth. Be the fire that purifies yourself for the earth. Sagittarius, I get this. You've been... With the past few months readings, you you were struggling there, but you clearly have been letting go, letting go, letting go. You've been also refocusing on yourself, which is great. And they're saying we're we're witnessing it. We're seeing you and your your progress, right? When it says fire is not for the people, it is for the earth. Be the fire that purifies yourself for the earth. As they're saying, still 
still take care of you. All that beautiful fire you have inside, use it to purify yourself. Same as we might use fire to purify the, the, the ground and burn it all down so it can grow back beautiful and rich and full of minerals and full of greatness. That's what they're saying they want to see you do for yourself, which is also you are here for the earth. You know, you beautiful Sag, it'll help all the way through. So that is what they're trying to say there, that the, your fire is still not for other people. It's not. It is for you to purify yourself for the earth. I'll read it one more time, Sagittarius. Oh, beloved Sagittarius, we see your progress. Let go more of the people pleasing. Fire is not for the people. It is for the earth. Be the fire that purifies yourself for the earth. Cancer. Oh, Cancer. What an amazing job. To watch you witness yourself have strength you thought others only had. What strength within will you see next? So what they're saying is you've done a really good job. And cancer, if you remember the past few couple of months, few months, it was, you know, just keep swimming, cancer, keep swimming, keep swimming. Just don't stop. You got this. You got this. Keep going. And so they're saying you did a great job. And the greatest thing it is, is they, us, we've been able to witness you, cancer, Watching yourself have strength to keep going. Strength that you thought only other people had. Right? But now you see that you, ha you have it. You've done a great job. And so that's the, that's the real blessing out of this is that cancer has learned, I can do this. I can, I can handle so much more than I thought I could. So they're saying, wow, what strength within will you see next? I'll read it one more time, Cancer. Oh, Cancer, what an amazing job to watch you witness yourself have strength you thought others only had. What strength within will you see next? Leo. Oh, beloved Leo, you've been hard on yourself. We know how Leos can treat themselves unfair, unfairly. Why, Leo? You are more than good enough. Break bread with yourself this month. There was a pause there because I'm a Leo. So I was like, uh huh. <laughs> um, Leo, um, beloved Leos, I know everyone sees the Leo, the Leos that are the leaders and the performers and the, the what they shine. They see your shine, right? What a lot of people might not know though is Leos can beat themselves up. Big time, right, Leo? Right? When we feel that um, things might not have gone as well as we would have liked or our service isn't in full effect, right, Leo? If our whatever it may be, right? If things didn't go according to plan um, or we just, we've been going and going and going and forgetting about ourselves and then we start being ourselves up for that even, you know, Leos can really beat themselves up. So they're saying, stop, you're good enough. Everything is good. Everything is okay. Break bread with yourself. Meaning whatever may have happened, Leo, forgive yourself. Whatever you did or didn't do or this or that, you've been beating yourself up enough, let it go, break bread, forgive yourself and move on. 
your season is coming soon and we want you all to enjoy it. I'm going to read it again. Oh, beloved Leo, you've been hard on yourself. We know how Leos can treat themselves unfairly. Why, Leo? You are more than good enough. Break bread with yourself this month. Virgo. Dance, 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 Virgo. Your time to shine is now. No matter what others say or do, it is your time for self-expression, vulnerability, and complete self-love. That's awesome, Virgo. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read it again. <laughs> I get so excited for Virgos. Virgo, dance, 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 Virgo. Your time to shine is now. No matter what others say or do, it is your time for self-expression, vulnerability, and complete self-love. Aries. Okay, Aries, you are the last on the list. It's not that long. You just, um, I don't know. It was, it's not as long as normally. Um, you are the last on the list though. So Aries, um, and happy birthday, late birthday. <laughs> Sorry, missed you all before. Oh, beloved Aries, you've done well letting go but you are still comparing yourself to others. Aries, 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 you bring joy to others in ways that are not noticeable, but are there. Stop doubting yourself and trust that your efforts do help others and most importantly, help you learn. And then I, I do have to say after that, they kind of whispered, little one. Like they, so I'm going to read it with that. And I'm sure you, you, I hope this resonates. Oh, beloved Aries, you've done well letting go, but you are still comparing yourself to others. Aries, 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 you bring joy to others in ways that are not noticeable, but are there. Stop doubting yourself and trust that your efforts do help others and most importantly, help you learn, little one. Thank you all for listening. Um, these messages do go out to my patrons first, patrons of Stars of the Morning Light. Consider joining us there. That is um, a lovely growing community I teach there privately twice a month. Um, everyone meditates together on Sunday mornings to help each other manifest. And we are manifesting um, and just a great time. So consider joining us there so this channel can keep going. These messages can keep going and we can keep growing and learning as a community. So I hope this resonated with people. Bye all.